Welcome, dear viewer, to episode 3 of Just Your Average Hitman. I am Just Your Average Gamer, and I am playing through Hitmans 1, 2, and 3. Um, I'm loving the game so far. So, let's crack on with the next mission, which is titled A Gilded Cage, and it's in Marrakesh. Good afternoon, 47. Good afternoon, Your Diana. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zidane, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. Mm. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name Old of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further. Hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Right. Let's have a look at the planning. Again, don't think I need a smuggled item unless I'm doing something more complicated than just the main mission. Ooh, summer suit. I really want to do it in the clown suit, but I'll just leave that for later. For the funny business, after the after I've completed the story. Um, hmm, lethal poison sounds nice. Lockpicks are always useful. Coins are useful, yeah. Leave it as your, 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 your box standard plain summer suited assassin. Let's go. This is my breakfast, by the way. Come on, loading. Load already. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown. But the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. Okie dokie. Let's have a look in. So that's one person. I can't see the other. Maybe he's too far away. Oh, oh, there's the other one. Okay. Ominous hiding box. Great oil leak. I don't want to do that. Man. Let's have a wander over in this direction since that's where my targets All right there. are. Let's see if we can pick up any opportunities. I'm going to could select an opportunity, but I, you know, I do like them being presented to me. This guy's close, so let's have a look over here. Well, hey, Miss. I am so honored by your visit. How are you now? How's your father? Doing Ooh. well. Thanks for asking. 
He's upstairs right now working on this novel of his. Some Just kind of political the gods thriller, over there. I think. You know, airport lit. Oh, that's nice. Well, that's the general. Well, doesn't it the old school? Well, he was headmaster for 30 years. Yet he still carries around the master key. You know, the one that fits all the locks. He doesn't seem to be able to part with the damn thing. But that's nostalgia for you. Well, maybe now he'll be a famous writer instead. Right. <laughs> maybe. The old headmaster of the school Zaydan is using as his field HQ lives right above the carpet shop. According to his son, he kept the school's master key out of nostalgia. Supposedly, this opens any lock in the building. Hmm, so does my lock pick, probably, but... Let's my use it. Are oh, give your old man some credit, Marwen. It might surprise you yet. Anyway, got to run. See you around. Yep, up, up and away. I'm trespassing here, so let's be very careful. Okay, so I'm guessing that's him. <gasps> okay. Let's see, let's have a look. Okay, so he sat down there. Yes. <coughs> I'm going to need him to move. And there's a convenient no hiding box. So let's get a coin. Book one, titled The Diplomacy's Edge. When his best friend is killed by a Langley approved drone strike in the mountains Over of Pan there? Whoa. Is anybody there? Anybody here? <laughs> Take a nap now. This guy's headmaster. Drop a key. Where's the key? Oh, key's over there. Let's take his disguise. I'm see how far that can take us. I'm not his dad. Where is he? He's in the shop. He's going to come back in as well. How do I get out? Is there a way out up here? Can't fall over there. Somewhere here. Is it down there? Yeah, it's down there. I can't get it. Damn it. Ooh. Okay, probably not a great idea to go down that way. So if I. So maybe when he comes back in, I can run out. There a way around. Oh, look at the lighting effect. <coughs> Let me show you my fine contemplate. Hello, listen. This is my last day, and I'm ready to spend some serious lunch. I need to pick the three. 
three most beautiful lamps in the store. Doesn't matter what the price is. Money not in the What should we do? If Crystal don't get involved, should we take action? No, no. Sorry, sir, I can't let you through. Got my orders. Yep. Okay. Sir, this is a restricted area. Imagine because I have a key, there must be a door I can get into. Yeah, that's not gonna work, buddy. Can't let you through. Opportunities and omit. So that's where it is. It's over here. It is over here. How are you doing? I don't think I'm going to get in there unless I'm dressed as a soldier, really. Guys. Oh, this area has restricted access. Sorry. Who's <laughs> father? I. Yeah. Salam. I am so honored. Clearance to pass. You don't have it, buddy, so, uh... Just take a gun out and shoot it, can I?
let's start that again. I think having that key might be useful later on, but I Welcome don't think to it's Marrakesh, my way it? in. So let's have a look at some other opportunities. Coming to oh, uh, pardon me, I didn't see you there, sir. Hello, Mr. Hendrick is a you. Looking so sharp today, sir. I mean, that's what we well, all want you. this day and age, right? Uh, not me. That's a load of rubbish. We all want these weapons. Hello, come in. I'm sorry. <coughs> you will be. The printing crew spreads fake propaganda in the name of Crystal Dawn, the Pan-African Liberation Movement. This encourages Moroccan citizens to rise up and take justice into their own hands, which of course is exactly what Zaydan is counting on. Very clever. Now, according to the printing schedule, the crew is out hanging posters, and they are likely to wear masks. Zayden won. Paper the whole city with these things? Yeah, you know what they say. The bigger the lie, the more people will believe it. Yeah, I don't know. What if the real Crystal Dawn finds out? They won't look too kindly on us creating revolutions in their name. It's fraud. They're a terrorist organization. Who are they gonna complain Dude, to? Dude, isolate yourself oh, somewhere. Uh, look, if they do find out, you and me are at the far bottom. Enjoy, of sir. Long I've worried less about Crystal Dawn and more about the guy who thinks are wicked. Ah, yeah. in the dumpster. I don't remember my coin. I don't remember my coin. I might want to leave with my summer suit, so I'll remember it's here. Talk about that soldier. I think they're trying to soldier into here. Done. Let's head back. Yeah, why not? I'm out anyway. I'll be by later to pick up my new business cards. I'm so excited! Soldiers back at the school. I've heard them talking. They have big crystal dawn heads and old shot. Afghan rifles, and they were planning to shoot the protesters. You know, to get things rolling. 
Like I said, don't think about it. When brass like Zayden play their games, there's always collateral damage. Just make sure you're not in hell or That's a shitty outlook, man. What are you talking about? We are part of this. You and me, right here, right now. Yeah. Why don't you chain yourself to the printing press when we get back? I'm sure that will be worth Zayden people's heat. Me? I'm gonna go stick flowers in the rifle barrels. Yeah, well, I've got a conscience, so shoot me. Keep this shit up and somebody will. Mom, what would you like? Oh dear. God, can these guys walk any slower? I'm barely moving the stick just to keep this speed. Do you design business cards too? No. Just revolutionary posters. He's taking the long way around. Right now, laughing his ass off. <laughs> oh man, that is so like Jeff. What that sub G button is really tempting. You do wedding invitations? No, no just okay. revolutionary so posters. Think they're gonna storm the place? Oh, we're not barbarians. They'll be done in a just way. Just. I hope there's no bones in snail meat. No, because they don't have bones. Ugh. You guys are annoying. Move along, time. printer. Go straight to the printing room. General Zayden has an announcement to make, and you boys do not want to keep him waiting. Okay. Are slow, I wouldn't bump into you and disrupt your AI. Ugh. God. Hey, print man. Well done, forty seven. This ought to get Zaydan's attention. Would it? So what are you doing? I haven't done anything yet. Uh, never you mind. General Zayden sent a man to train you. Attention, everyone! That you is there General Reza Zaydan, so keeper of Crystal the peace. Crystal Dawn are on everyone's lips. Hey, don't print anything you see That here, is why right? we are expanding the campaign to the other city districts and suburbs. This means there will be no breaks, not until the job's done. But whatever you do, just keep kill him those just for printers that. running. Okay, so he's gonna wander off. Must be a. I'm glad I didn't do that. Oh, where did you come from? Just a box with a screwdriver on, which they're always useful. Except that one time I nearly tripped to myself. Yes. Again. 
hiding box. If I turn this off, is he going to get mad? Am I hiding the bar? Hiding the box? Wait for something to happen. Oh, he's coming in. I think. What is he in here? He's, he's here, he's there. Oh, there's a guy with him. Okay, so I can't just come out of this now. He'll see me. I bet I can kill him by. <gasps> can I put him in the printing press? <sighs> That'd be so awesome. But I've got to get rid of this. Right. Oh! Oh no, that's it. I thought there was somebody behind me, there's the guy in the box. Okay, so. Chokey, chokey, chokey. Can't have you in the room. Coming back? You appear to be moving this way. Oh. You're going upstairs. Bugger. How long have I got to wait for you to come back then? Oh, well, I'm committed to this now. I want, I want a comedy death. Dude, where are you going? That's right, come back this way. Oh. You want a loop? Oh, don't come in this door though. General, I'll turn the printing press off. Uh, I see. 
actually going to go down that way. Okay. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Coming down the stairs, looks like. Yeah. <laughs> Machine on, hopefully. Yes, 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 yes. Hey, get back to work. <laughs> good, good. Turn it on. Now he's going to stand at the end. Let me see. I see. Push. <gasps> yes. Target down. Move Ooh. on to Klaus Strand. That's a little messy. Okay, I'm signing out. Bye. <laughs> Don't use that tone. <laughs> There's a very deep shade of red. Right, so on to Klaus. So he's over at the embassy, which is over that way. So let's go into the crowd and do a bit of sleuthing. Hey, tell Michael in the print shop to stop texting my girlfriend. No. I love the little one-liners from the from the NPCs here. Okay, here's one. This must be yeah. This must be this one. Okay. If I was here in, in real life, I'd have some serious anxiety in the moment. I don't like very crowded places. Keep walking, sir. Don't touch him. Oh, I want ink. Opportunity. What kind of idiot eats shellfish from a buffet in this heat? Relax. or anything. Pam, you remember that talk we had about low blood sugar? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is one of those times. Oh, <laughs> so where is this guy anyway? He'll be here. And you have a banana, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Klaus Strandberg has agreed to an exclusive interview with celebrity mm. GNN reporter Pam Kingsley, no doubt to enrage the public even further. This could be a way inside the lockdown consulate, and the replacement cameraman, a local freelancer, is yet to arrive. Find the cameraman, knock him out. Gotcha. Hey, friend. 
It's best to get the toilet because it's always a place to get somebody. Hiding cupboard. Yes. That toilet looks nasty. somebody that can help me. Anybody coming? Pissing everywhere. I mean, come on. Surely someone's got to come in for that. Oh, Tongue is on the move. Where's he going? Where are you going, dude? Nobody's responding to this sink. Does the door need to be open? Turn it off. Can you bugger off? I want to pick this lock. Club membership card. Right, if I get back out, change into my I'll change into my suit. I wanna Where's my suit gone?
Where am suit? Over there. So not too far away actually. Anything else in here? Oh, rat poison. Let's take that. I might need it to. Um, if I can find a way to make the guy throw up, I can then just, you know, take his clothes. And probably a press pass as well. Nice to see you, sir. Right, so. I said they don't want to frisk me. So I'd like to keep the gun. Do you have an invite? All right. Go on through. <laughs> Welcome, sir. Yeah, yeah. Did have a puff of poison. Yep. I'm a block. Blow some chunk. Just step back, people. Hey, let me let me spew any second. Typical. Do you want to go in the back? the other one. Oh, you're into this one, okay. I can show you, sir, it is happening. Oh, no! Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out! Choking people. Would I have a chance? Pam Kingsley, GNN News. Seven billion. Seven billion, my friend. Just a minute. Thanks, 
Thanks for responding so quickly. We never expected something like this. Not Denver. Come in. Damn, come on. You made it. Most impressive, 47. Now to locate Klaus Stramberg. Oh, Pam Kingsley, GNN News. My name is Pearson. Mr. Strandberg is ready for you. Follow me, please. I have been recorded by a security camera. Oh, I must say, I was surprised I gotta find that the security office. Authorized this interview. Hey there, photo Adding man. fuel to the fire, I should think. But that is not my call. Nevertheless, you must understand that the building is on high alert. If the situation evolves, you will be evacuated without protest. Yes? Well, let's just hope it doesn't come to that, Ms. Pearson. I love the fact that the, the news is clearly BBC, <laughs> but they've called it uh, GNN. Aha! Capital, you made it! Come on in. Come in, good. Pam Kingsley, a pleasure. Mm. I watch your show all the time. You're even more lovely in the flesh. <laughs> and this is... Uh, Tyler Clark, producer. And this is our cameraman, Finley. Tyler and Finley. Splendid. Well, <clears throat> let's do this, shall we? Where do you want me? Uh, the light is nice over here. Not that I want to tell you boys Maybe how Maybe in the chair in front of the green heavens. screen and the camera? Well, right here is fine, Mr. Stramberg. Sit down, make yourself comfortable, and we'll be ready in no time. Oh, no, no, please, please. Call me Klaus. Okay, what do you want me to do? Okay, I think we're set. Roll when you're ready. Damn, we're rolling. Hey, when you got a sec, think you could do something about the lights? Upstairs somewhere. Thanks, bud. There's my in. Okay, I was waiting for something. Okay, we're ready if you are, Mr. Stanford. Access to the constant. Oh. And first row seats for the interview. There's some stairs nearby. Nicely done, 47. Right now. The press is here. Like my feet hasn't touched the ground, this king. Would I have a chance of modeling? Uh, excuse me. I, I, I just gotta check you. No. That's nice, Jenny. Let me tell Different you stairs, you. please. Yeah, I saw a whole bunch of them down in the Oh, house. they go down, though. Hey, buddy. Again, all within the confines of the room. 
So, uh, what should I apologize for? Hmm? Being a capitalist? <laughs> Perhaps the term has fallen out of favor exactly. with your middle class viewers. Me? I bear that brand proud. Capital. If you are innocent, in the eyes of the law, what? why did violent assailants spring you from police custody this morning, claiming the lives of six police officers? No, sir. Death, I'm afraid, I cannot answer. It sounds incidental. I've had an idea. I appreciate the gesture, but the approach was somewhat excessive. Really quite unnecessary. I would have walked free eventually once justice had run its due course. Mr. Stramberg, hundreds are gathered outside this very building. Release Moose! <laughs> Sorry, <it's just> <laughs> oh, fuck you. Yes! <laughs> Two comedy kills. Now head towards an exit. Yep. I will. But what I'm gonna do first time. We need all the cameras we can get. Huh. Is I wanna find the security office first, because I've been recorded by a security camera. So if I was a security office, I'd be at least down somewhere. Let's check. I mean are you guarding a security office? No, you're guarding a kitchen. Okay. Yeah, it's a kitchen. Are you a security office? No, you are also a kitchen. Nice gear. I love how I'm just running around with impunity. A console. Ooh. That looks like a security office. I think I can hear the beep of the security system. Hey, do you think I could be a model? No. There's one guy in there. And a door on the other side. Let's run around the other side and have a look in there. Fairly certain this is a security office. Hey! Yeah, yeah, it's me. Um, oh, no, things are good. It's just beautiful weather these last few days. Sunny, a little bit of breeze. Attention, all yeah, no, personnel. Busy. This is a level four security right. announcement. A terrible accident just occurred. Like, well, Please stay calm. Please stay calm. Do not discuss the incident. We appreciate your cooperation and your understanding. Hey there, Mr. Cameraman. Hi. No hiding boxes, okay. Just outside. <gasps> if somebody's moving, I can. I can hide him. So, yeah, let's get out of here. Hopefully, I've got silence. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's a mess. That poor moose. Okay, let's go and get my suit back from the shisha bar. And find the exit from the level. from a 
Compromised, but I I don't understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. Still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. Except for your late predecessors. Com? But this plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such yes. Such was the conclusion at the time. Accident. Yes. Our mysterious friend from the other cutscenes. People die, Mr. Fannin. Happens all the time, even to us. It seems like a conspiracy. It probably isn't. And yet, a failed coup in Morocco. The ether virus. Someone knows about us. There was a pattern and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. <clears throat> How much was that? Money. <laughs> Not money, Mr. Fannin. Information. On all of our assets and operatives. Like you. Take a trench, Director, and make it a deep one, because none of you are safe anymore. Oh. So our mysterious friend robbed them. Nice. This, you can be led through with the opportunities and the game teaches you <coughs> how to to do something like this because I assumed getting a rating like that would be difficult um, but as long as you follow the thing and then once you do your own you plan your own ways of doing things you can yeah you talk through you drag through on an opportunity showing the mechanics of the game and you know then you can use it. Yeah, you can use that once you've learnt it and test yourself. That's quite good. So, what I would, what I've done in the previous series is I played a bit, bit longer, uh, done at least another run through to make quite a long video. Um, these take quite a bit of time and quite a bit of time to edit and to upload. Um, so. What I've decided to do is to, when I'm doing the story, just do one run through, and I'm gonna 
obviously, like I said in the previous videos, I'm going to be doing a run through of other ways of doing things, um, you know, getting more uh, mastery XP and just doing different challenges. And I'll just clip bits up at the end uh, of the story for Hitman, and I'll do the same with Hitman One, uh, Hitman Two, and Hitman Three. Oh, excuse me. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Um, to, this episode is going to be the first episode to be exclusive to Patreon members. Um, there are no Patreon members at the moment, at the time of filming. Uh, but I need to set up the the way of doing things. So if I publish it on Patreon, then next week it will be available on YouTube. And I'll do the same for all the others. And as people join, they'll, be, they'll get to see it first. And then, you know, we'll get the pattern going uh, for publication. Um, so please, uh, like the video, subscribe, comment, hit the bell icon for notifications. Uh, that's all free, but if you really want to uh, support the channel monetarily, you can join the Patreon. Um, you, uh, link is in the description below. Uh, if at the lower tier, uh, average gamer tier, you can join the Discord and you'll get the Patreon um, announcements, except for the um, early release videos. Uh, at the above average gamer tier, you'll have all the average gamer tier uh, benefits, plus you'll get the uh, Just Travish Hitman uh, videos uh, early. You'll get any other uh, any other recorded videos early, uh, and you'll also have a chance to um, help me decide what to play next um, in any of my streams, or, or one, and once I finished the Hitman series. Um, so please, again, like, subscribe, uh, click the bell for notifications, share with your friends, join the Patreon if you like. And thank you very much for watching. This has been episode three of Just Your Average Hitman.